On Your Side at 10 with 10 minutes of nonstop news. And the On Your Side forecast starts now. It's been more than two weeks, but vendors at RibFest still feeling the pain. Vendors, musicians, and more all saying a promoter for RibFest broke a bunch of promises and couldn't pay up. And it doesn't just stop at RibFest. In fact, our On Your Side newsroom has been flooded with calls, and so has the Better Business Bureau about Casey Thompson's company, the Idaho Promotions Group. Eric Fink has more on tonight's big story. I feel violated for my son. Monique Vaughn's son, Colton, is a professional MMA fighter. He's a headliner for a fight tonight in Boise, promoted by Casey Thompson of the Idaho Promotions Group. But there's a problem. Tonight, Colton Vaughn is in San Jose. His mom, outraged by what she calls false advertising, filed a complaint against Thompson just this afternoon with the Better Business Bureau. He blatantly lied and used him as a main promotion to get people in the door tonight, knowing absolutely full well there was no way that that fight was ever taking place. It was never contracted to take place. But Colton Vaughn is just one example. The Better Business Bureau is now investigating last month's rib fest at the Idaho Center. It says it received numerous complaints from vendors and performers who say Casey Thompson's promises went unfulfilled. One local musician says Thompson owed him 400 bucks. He got a check for 250, which he says bounced. A lot of promises made, and we want to be sure that those companies that have those small Idaho businesses that are running on tight margins, trying to feed their families, trying to make ends meet, and have paid money up front. We want to know. Everybody wants to know what's going on. Casey will not return the phone call. According to Dixon, Thompson is currently promoting a chili fest to take place next month at Kleiner Park in Meridian. We checked with city leaders who say Thompson revoked his application for a permit after the city council denied him one for RebFest. All of this comes as no surprise to Monique Vaughn. I think he'll do anything for a buck. I think that he um, loves to cut corners. The Idaho Lottery also takes issue with Thompson. The lottery sponsored a $5 scratcher. RibFest guests could purchase and win a $1,000 gift card to a local restaurant. But the lottery says Thompson didn't come through. The lottery, in fact, says Thompson Company is now under investigation with the state attorney general's office. We will stay on the story for you. I made several calls to Thompson for the story today and never heard back. Live tonight, Eric Fink, Today's 6 on your side. Police charge.